Right, here we go. Let's see if we can take you through uh, a quick five minute. Click on the EasyBook sign and log in using your username and password that the manager set up. This takes you onto the EasyBook screen, which might look a little bit complicated at first, but uh, trust me, it's okay. Um, the screen um, is broken down into various areas. Um, the idea is that we can show you everything all in one go, rather than um, so that when you're taking a booking, you can see exactly what's happening. Down at the bottom here, where my mouse is pointing, that's basically the list of jobs. Uh, up in the top left-hand corner there is a small area where we actually take the bookings. Um, uh, just say no more. In the middle, we've got a bar graph that is showing you just how busy we are. We're not very busy at the moment, and there are only six cars working. Little thumbnail map across here, um, showing you the, where the cars are, etc. Whereas over on the right hand side, we've got uh, a list that just basically shows the uh, list of cars available and how long they've been waiting. Down at the bottom, it's the individual areas and the cars in turn. Right. If we uh, if we now go up and uh, we'll we'll focus on the job list. The job list of jobs is just as you'd expect them. Uh, they're in order of time, and as you can see there, the we've got the first job there for Dorset Road, and it's eight minutes late. Uh, I uh, basically, it, it, it should make sense. If we highlight any of the jobs and press the Enter key, the details come up and we can see the exact details. Um, you notice the top uh, jobs, they're showing in white. That's because they're as soon as possible. Whereas the blue ones, they've been booked in advance, so they get a little bit more priority. Uh, the ones right down at the bottom are greyed out, and that's because they're for tomorrow morning. So um, they'll, uh, they'll become uh, ready for dispatch nearer the time. Right, going back up to the bookings, um, uh, the booking is pretty well automated. We just type uh, anything we want up in the, uh, in the text box. Um, we can use commercial addresses or house names. I will just type in Asda. You see, it's brought up a load of Asda stores. If I want the one that's uh, Smith Down Road, for example, is number two on that list. So if I just simply press two, I get Smith Down Road. Where it's going to, well, that could just be the area, or it could be an exact, uh, an exact road name. Oh, we'll just use an, an area, T for Toxteth. Now, we, we're going to need to take a name here because it's a commercial address, so we do need a name. Hit the end key to end the booking, and there we go. The booking goes in, and it's showing on the, uh, the list there. Right, let's try and take uh, another booking. I seem to have a... An obsession with 23 looking at this, but um, there we go. Um, let's take a booking for uh, later on. Yeah, okay. Just press the F1 key, takes us to the time 20. You don't have to put the zeros in 20 hundred, 8 o'clock. Uh, oh, bloody 23 again. There we go. <coughs> I really am obsessed with 23. <laughs> Where's it going to? Again, I'm just going to take uh, the top suggestion, Anfield. Now, we don't need a name. If it's only a house, we can hit it in. And there we go, it's, uh, it, it's in there. Uh, but it's in for later on at 8 o'clock. You can see there, 23 Acres Road. The booking graph is showing us how busy we are, and we, we're not, we have no problems. We've only got six cars working, uh, but we're nowhere near overbooked. Um, if we did get overbooked, it will indicate this for you. I'll show you what I mean. Um, you can see uh, on the screen we only use red where there's a problem. So you can see the, the, the late jobs here, um, they're showing in red, uh, and over on the far side of the screen the, the location of one of those jobs that is running late. I don't normally use the mouse on the, on the screen, but there we go. Right, so um, red is a dodgy area. Now what, what I was saying about the booking graph, it will give us warnings. Let's uh, let's take a silly booking, uh, anywhere to anywhere, I didn't use 23 this time, you note. And we're going to go down and we're going to put a silly amount of cars in that's going to overbook us. So I'm going to book 10 cars in all in one go. Hit the end key and end. There we go, voila. And you, right away you see that uh, the booking graph is showing that we're massively overbooked there. So just uh, doesn't stop you from booking, but um, you know it warns you. Right, let's get rid of all these uh, uh, daft jobs. Just cancel them off. Very simple. Just hit the delete key and say yes. 
Uh, there we go. Now, uh, we're all done. That's about it for now. Let's log out. Just type the word log out, press the enter key, and it will take you out of the program. And that's it for the first, uh, first time. Okay, see you later. Bye. <laughs>